sea turtles are our world's oldest living dinosaur. They've withstood mass extinctions and ice ages in their seemingly unending journey across the ocean. They travel hundreds or perhaps thousands of miles to evade predators and look for food, returning to the same beaches of their birth to continue the cycle once more. Yet the lives of man and turtle are intertwined. Hundreds, if not thousands, of native cultures place turtles at the center of their spiritual world, their folk tales, and of course their cuisine. What attracts man to turtle? Perhaps it is the remarkable experience of watching a sea turtle lumber its massive body onto a beach, lay its eggs, and disappear back into the churning sea that hugs our heart. Or watching hatchlings arise from their eggs, born with a universal song in their mind that beckons them back to the sea to meet their destiny. Leatherbacks cross oceans, the Pacific Ocean, the biggest body of water on the planet, and go back to the very same beach where they were born. That's a phenomenal thing that, that uh, we're only beginning to appreciate the importance of. Sea turtles have enriched my life in so many ways, and you know, one is just the people that work with or work to protect sea turtles. Sea turtles are a way of life, and if you know a, a turtle person, then you'll you'll know that. And so, it's so amazing to work with these passionate people. Um, but certainly, just in really clarifying my environmental goals in my life and and how I want my children uh, to to be in terms of stewardship towards the environment. I was walking down the beach on my turtle walk and I saw a couple standing Justin. far off and they gestured to me to Patty, look right up. And so I looked up and there was the mama in the middle of laying eggs and um, just miraculous. It's just miraculous to see these mothers that spend their lives in weightlessness and they lumber up this beach and they take such care to dig their holes and lay their eggs. And as we all saw, they cover them up and disguise them so well that even though we saw where the hole was, we still couldn't see where the hole was when she left. And, um, and so then just to have the privilege and the honor to witness that and then help her preserve her eggs by digging them up and putting them further up in the dunes for safety. And hopefully in about two months, we'll be able to be out here and help the babies into the water to kind of kind of continue that process and close the loop and, and maybe in 30 years we'll be around to see the baby come back and make a nest. <laughs> Whatever it is that draws us is likely not enough. This is the turtle paradox. We love these primordial creatures to death. Although they are a cultural icon of wisdom, of fertility, grace, and longevity, industrial fishing, beach development, pollution, and climate change challenges this creature's future day by day. Given the connections between turtles and man, is their plight a final warning to us that we need to take serious their call for help before we both share a similar fate in the universal folklore of the heavens? Do we dare use the majestic leatherback, the magnificent green turtle, the sponge-eating hawksbill, or the noble loggerhead as our canary in the coal mine? An old saying goes, behold the turtle. He makes progress only when he sticks his neck out. Maybe the new saying should be, when we decide to stick out our collective necks, we'll find that we can save not only this cultural icon for the ages, but ourselves as well.